What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How is everyone doing? Let's get into the news. The first story of the day is about the Razer Phone 2. Razer, Razer normally makes laptops and laptop and computer desktop accessories. And they made a phone last year that had some really, really nice specs. But the screen was really, really dim. Well, it looks like they are announcing their Razer Phone to, uh, 2 phone today. But Amazon leaked out the specs of the phone. The phone's officially going to be announced by the time I make this video within two hours. So maybe by the time you watch this video, it'll already be out. But let's talk about the specs that were leaked on the Amazon Italian website. So on the back of the phone, it will have a chroma RGB backlit logo. So it'll change colors, all that kind of stuff. Pretty damn cool on the back of the phone. I don't think a, a phone has ever had that before. Also for specs, you're going to see a Snapdragon 845 eight gigabytes of RAM. The display will be 5.7 inches, but I believe it'll be flat, so it'll still feel fairly big in your hand, that display with 120 hertz. Ultra, ultra smooth uh, when you're navigating through the phone. The display will be 1440p. It'll be an LCD pan panel, so no OLED panels here. You're not gonna get those ultra rich, dark colors on the phone. Uh, 64 gigabytes of onboard storage. Wireless charging and IP67 water resistance are additions to this phone. Last year's phone did not have those. Next up, if you're getting the Pixel 3 XL or maybe you're thinking about getting it and maybe you're turned off by that notch on there, the big, big notch, you're actually able to turn it off and make it look just like a normal phone. So what you need to do is turn on developer options. And once you're in developer options, you go to settings, system, advanced developer options and then once you're in there there'll be an option to turn off the notch and you can see what it looks like uh, right here with the notch turned on and then you can see what it looks like right here with the you know rich black color up there so it looks like a normal phone if you hate the look of that notch and the last story of the day is about the galaxy note 10 or galaxy S11, and this is the latest rumor coming out about Samsung from Korea, and it's that they will probably be removing the headphone jack on either the Galaxy Note 10 or the Galaxy S11. This is sure to upset a lot of you. I don't really use it. I use it sometimes. I use it as, you know, like I'm in bed. That's really the only time I use the headphone jack. So it won't be a huge loss to me. It's more of an annoyance because, you know, otherwise you're gonna have to be plug USB type C headphones into the bottom and then plug in an adapter if you're using regular headphones. Um, so that's looking like what the Samsung's gonna end up doing. If they end up removing the headphone jack, they will put a USB type C to regular headphone adapter in there kind of like what Apple does, what everybody else does, what uh, Google does. It's a big pain in the butt, but it looks like what they're going to end up doing on the Note 10 or S11 it hasn't been pinpointed down as to which one of those two phones they're gonna end up doing it on, but it looks like it's going to be happening within a year from now, more or less, or maybe a little bit more than a year, that there'll be no he headphone jack on major Samsung phones. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to new videos every single day. My question out to you guys is, how does that make you feel? No he headphone jack, either on the Note 10 or Galaxy S11. And then from there on out, obviously no headphone jack. Let me know in the comments down below. See you guys down the road. Peace.